Floyd's death sparking a lot of debate over freedom of speech and racism. Locally, a teacher and a police officer are under investigation for comments they made on Facebook. In Santa Rosa County, Pace High School teacher Lisa Dillashaw openly questioned why so many African Americans feel they don't have a voice. A major point of these ongoing protests. The school district is now reviewing the post for possible ethics violations. In Mobile, police officer Deron McMichael is facing scrutiny for some comments he made three years ago, making derogatory remarks about a woman wearing a hijab in her mugshot. Mobile police say they are actively investigating. Tonight, News 5 investigates. Amber Grigley explores a very important question. Could comments you post on social media put your job in jeopardy? And I hear all the time in investigations, uh, employees say, well, you know, what about my First Amendment rights? Can I say what I want to say? And the answer to that question, if you work for a private employer, is no. Social media has become a key part in our daily lives, used in ways to create, engage, and stay in touch. But as more issues arise worldwide, for some, it's becoming a bit toxic. Now we're seeing more of it. Attorney Thomas Woodford with Phelps and Dunbar LLP says when it comes to freedom of speech, it ultimately boils down to public versus private employers. In the current environment that we're in, we're seeing more racially insensitive posts and things like that. Employees can get suspended, reprimanded, or depending on the severity of it, they can be terminated. Woodford says unless your government, what you post on social media is not protected under the First Amendment, which only protects us from state and federal government interference. I, I see it all the time, all the time, and it comes from um, a lack of knowledge that the First Amendment does not protect you when you have a private employer. Alabama is an at-will state, so certain rules apply. And in most cases, it is up to the employer to decide what they are willing to put up with, depending on what you say. Well, that's when they call me. I'm Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5. Whitford tells Amber that in 33 years of practicing, this issue comes up a lot and is a constant reminder, be careful of what you post. In some cases, it can cost you your job. Now,